Yes, this is the book. Look at it. I'm going to move my face out the way. See, lovely color cover. I love the design. So this is my book, Overcoming, and it talks about overcoming. Because you know what? I, the reason why I've changed the topic or the title, I should say, because I have encountered a whole lot in my life. And I do believe as human, we are overcomers. You know, whether you're a writer, you know, whatever you have gone through every day, every week, every month of the year, we all go through difficulties. And, you know, as we overcome you know, one obstacle, something else happened and we keep overcoming. So that's the reason why I call it overcoming because the first one was called survivor. Yes, we all are, we all are survivors. We all survive some things, but I do believe overcoming was what I really need to call my book. So this is my book. You can get it on Amazon, Overcoming by Carol Rowe electronic version is there as well you can download it or you can go straight to my website www.carolrow.co.uk and you learn more about my work and um, feel free to share this video and as i said um the reason why i share this video because i do believe i just want you to let you know i'm passionate about you know fighting domestic violence you know i'm here to help those who are in need i'm not here for everybody i must make it clear you know what everybody will have their own opinion but what i'm here for people who need help if you need help you know if you want an advocate i'm here as an advocate if you're looking for a speaker i'm here as a speaker because i know for sure that god sent me to help those who need help there are some people they are struggling whether you're a man or whether you're a woman you need help you can find help Come to me and if I can't help you, I can signpost you. I can send you to different agency, different organization. If you need, if you need um, support, you know, within, within the area of law, I'm not going to tell you that I'm a lawyer, but let me tell you something. I have had many experience in the court and I can tell you, I know how to signpost people because I can help myself. And if I can help myself, I can help you. So what I'm saying, don't stay and suffer no more. Help is here. I am here. This one woman, when I came out of domestic violence, I never have no mother, no father, no sister. In my book, I can talk where, yes, my father came, yes, and he, he did give me that support when I had to, to, to discipline my, my ex because he hit me and he did some terrible things. And it, my dad decided, he said, no, 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 no. You're not going to put his feet down. You know, so what I can say when I get myself out it, when I lift my, I had to dig deep. You know, I had to find that inner strength, that inner power from above. God gave me that strength, that tenacity to fight. I can tell you I'm a fighter. Yeah. And I'm not going to tell you that I'm a physical fighter. Yeah, no, I, come on. Everybody know, Carol. Why well, don't use my mouth no more? You know, I'm not where I used to be a couple years ago. I may not be where I want to be, but I'm learning. You know how to resolve issue. And I hope that for those, as I said, if I've hurt you, I apologize today. I just want to do it publicly because I'm not too proud. Yeah. And I don't see myself better than saying I'm sorry. So if I've approached you wrongly in the past, I am sorry. And I ask you to forgive me. But what I'm saying in order to move forward now, I want to help others. And with this book, this book is my aim to help others. And my story when I talk it is not to bring shame to my family. No, 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 no. A lot of people don't come with me because I'm not going to feel guilty no more. My story that I tell is to help somebody who is in the low state. Somebody who is crying out for help. Somebody who is crying out, you know, for that strength to rise out of that difficult situation. And I'm looking in the camera today and I'm saying to you, I'm here to help you. Yeah, I'm not prejudiced. I'm here whether for the Caucasian. I'm here for, for, for the B, BME, Black Ethnic Minority Group. I'm here for Haitian. I'm here for Hindi. I'm whatever color, whatever ethnicity, whatever race, whatever religion. Because you know what? I can say as a child of God, as a Christian, I don't discriminate. Whoever you are, whether you're bisexual, whether you're lesbian, whoever you are, transgender, whoever you are and you're experiencing, just come to me. I am here to help you. As I said, www carolroad.co.uk that's my website you can get in touch with me and as i said i'm going to set up an organization to give women support women from the black minority 
ethnicity, you are most welcome. That's what my organization is for. But let me tell you, every culture, every race is welcome. I am not going to turn away anybody. Yeah, I'm here to help whoever can help. I can't help the whole world. But whoever God sent me to help, I'm going to help you. And I'm not here to split the family. I'm here to keep the, uni the unity of the family together. Because I do believe the man have a place in the home. And we need to empower them. We need to find help for men. You know, Christian men who are struggling, who are fighting, who are eating, who are beating up on their wife. They need to stop it. If you have a weakness, because sometimes the tradition is what they, what they grew up and see. Some of them, they can't even help themselves. So what we have to do, you know, come together, find ways and means how we can help each other. Yeah. Or we can help each other to overcome our difficulty, our weakness, other than beating down on each other, you know, and, and, and discussing each other, finding ways of tearing down. Let us not use social media to destroy nobody no more. With this Caroline Flack, you know, it's just so it, it is a shame. It is a shame to see what happened to this young lady. Yeah. It is a shame. Yeah. That this, you know, whatever happened to her caused her now to, lead, to lose her life. I wonder how the media, can they really live with themselves? Yeah? Can they really live with themselves of what they do? Come on. Just like Jesus, you know, when, when it was called, you know, we're the woman who commit adultery. You know, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, all of them stay one side, want, want to kill this woman. Jesus write in the dirt and say, he who without sin cast the first stone. Might be what I do, you're not guilty of it, but we are all guilty of sin. We are all guilty of doing something wrong. And many people now are behind closed door, you don't even know what they're doing. Yeah. So come on, let us spread love, not hatred. And anywhere you see me on the road, don't be afraid because I'm not going to bite you. But all I was saying, I was experiencing a whole lot of issue. Yeah. Whole lot of issue. And for those out there who know me, yeah, where there's an incident happened and I heard that my photograph, because when I was demonstrating for my daughter, for when she was going to Blue Coat, and I heard that my photograph and my daughter were presented throughout different schools to say that we are dangerous people. To be honest, if I'm dangerous, I shouldn't be sitting here. I should be in bars. So I said, oh dear, oh dear Blue Coat, yeah? And I said, they know who they are. And you know what? They call themselves a Christian school, but guess what? When all is said and done, they're going to have to give account for everything that they have done, my daughter. Yeah? Because justice, if I don't get it on earth, we're going to get it in heaven. But all I'm saying, let us love each other and stop spreading one another's name. If somebody do you an arm, go to the person and tell them they hurt you. Don't go around and spread people's name and try to tear down people. We are all human. We have to survive. We want to live. Yeah? Can you imagine how me alone survive these years? Come on, if I didn't know God, for those who don't know God, let me tell you something. If you come to me and I tell you the things that I've gone through, read my book. And then you can tell me, this is my therapy. This is my psychotherapy. This is my counseling. I have to write it out of my heart, my mind, my body, my soul. Yeah? And when I talk, when, when I discuss certain things in my book, and as I said, just read it with an open heart. I don't want nobody to judge me. You're free to your opinion. But I know the reason why I write, because a lot of parents are experiencing similar things to what I've gone through. They haven't got the guts to write. They haven't got the guts to share because they are ashamed. There's no reason to be ashamed. If you're facing domestic violence, get in touch. There are so many agencies out there if you don't want to talk to me. But as I said, I'll make myself available through my website where you can um, fill out the form and get through to me. I'm here to listen. Yeah, I'm putting myself out there. As I said to you from last year, my book just came out in November, the latter part of November. And I decided, you know what? I have to think careful how am I going to promote myself. And it's not that, you know, I'm scared of anybody. Yeah, I want to be here for people who need help. No time to feel ashamed. I, I share very transparently because I want to connect with people. Yeah, so whoever have seen this video, if it's not even for you, you come across it, don't despise it, please. Because I tell you a story and they can tell you I nearly lose my life. Yeah, I just share a little bit about it and then I'll end. Where this man, my first love, took me to, to um, Flat Bridge. There's a, a bridge in, in Jamaica, a river called Flat Bridge. And he took me there when he take out the knife, yeah, to kill me and throw me overboard in the river. The two children that I had for him, they cry out, no daddy, no daddy, don't hurt mommy. And you know what him say? Him say, you're lucky the children were in the back of the car today. They are the one that saved your life. So sometimes we have our children, and even though they might give us, you know, a lot of talking or, you know, make us feel depressed and down at times, you know, God know why we have them, because those two girls saved my life.
and I'm very much appreciative of them. So I say, even though they're in the story, whatever happened and whatever they have done, I do believe the devil was behind it. Why my children behave the way they do, but I still love my children. You know what? Last, um, this is the last thing I'm going to say and I'll finish. The reason why I didn't come out with my book straight away because I was making an amendment to the relationship with my children because my children are important, you know, and I feel as if my family is not, you know, up here at that place, you know, it not, I'm not going to feel happy going forward. You know, so I'm glad that the relationship between me and my two big daughters has changed. It might not be 100%, but I can tell you we are in a better place than 2014 when I wrote my first book. So thank God for the amendment for my family. I've gone through a whole lot with my children. And a lot of people know and they know things, but people can't say what they want to say. What people say doesn't even bother me no more. Okay, you know what? It makes me bold. It makes me more beautiful. It makes me a stronger person. And I'm here to empower, to inspire, to motivate, and to help those who are in need and those who need help. Thank you very much for listening. But don't forget, go to www.carolrow.com dot co dot uk and you can read up about me more and if you want to buy a copy of my book i can post it off to you so it's overcoming yeah look at it my new book yay thank you very much for listening goodbye